A real white wedding. Amarosa traipsed 39 person wedding party through the White House on her big day for impromptu photo suit but was banned from sharing the pics online. Amarosa Manigold caused a stir among fellow staffers earlier this year when she turned up at the White House with her 39 person wedding party for an impromptu photo suit. The 43-year-old surprised White House senior aides and even certain security officials when she arrived in her wedding dress for the extended shoot on April 8. The former apprentice star and her visitors wandered around the president's home, chatting loudly and looking to take photos in the West Wing in the Rose Garden, current and former officials told Politico. It is not clear whether she had sought permission for the wedding day photo shoot but several aides were reportedly not briefed and were stunned to see dozens of wedding guests traipsing round one of the country's most important and high security federal buildings. Amarosa, director of communications for the Office of the Public Liaison, was swiftly banned from posting the wedding day shoot online over security concerns. Earlier that day, the White House official had tied the knot with her fiancé, Pastor John Allen Newman, 61, at the Old Post Pavilion in Trump Hotel, a stone's throw from the White House. About 70 people attended the wedding in the hotel's presidential ballroom, which was followed by a brunch and reception. Donald Trump and other White House senior staff remained at his Mar-a-Lago estate in Florida following Chinese President Xi Jinping's visit and after the U.S. airstrike on Syria. Attendees included Lynn Patton, a former Trump SVP and now advisor to Ben Carson, the Secretary of Housing and Urban Development. Also there was Katrina Pearson, a spokesperson for the Trump campaign. Amar Rosa was featured in an episode of TLC Say Yes to the Dress later that night. News of the White House photo shoot only emerged this week in a report which raised questions about how Amar Rosa's department was being run. The Office of the Public Liaison, which works with multiple different groups to drum up support for the administration, has gained something of a reputation as one of the most disorganized and unruly departments in the West Wing, according to advisors. The photo suit's stunt is unlikely to have helped Amaro's reputation among her fellow senior aides. There were even reports in September that White House Chief of Staff John Kelly, who has purged the White House of aides in an effort to bring discipline to a chaotic corporation, was trying to limit the access of Amarosa to President Trump. He was reportedly unhappy with Manigold, particularly because of her penchant for triggering Trump by feeding him news stories that leave him enraged, according to the Daily Beast. The news site reports that Manigold would often show Trump news stories either on a smartphone or printed out detailing criticism of the president from media figures. One White House source told the Daily Beast that Manigault brought Trump articles about anti-Trump comments made by MSNBC co-hosts Joe Scarborough and Mika Brzezinski, slagging him and his administration. The stories about the Morning Joe stars are believed to have fueled Trump's rage at the couple that was once considered friends of the president. Manigault is officially an employee in the White House Office of Communications. Her portfolio entails directing the White House's outreach to the African-American community. But the Daily Beast is reporting that she has instead earned a reputation among her West Wing colleagues as someone who has created unnecessary distractions for her boss by promoting gossipy stories about palace intrigue Republicans in Congress and media personalities. When Jen Kelly is talking about clamping down on access to the Oval, she's patient zero, a source close to the Trump administration said. White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders has conceded that the early months were not as smooth as they could have been for the public liaison office. A West Wing official said that so far Kelly has succeeded in limiting the damage that Manigault can cause. Kelly is not thrilled by any means by Manigold, the official told the Daily Beast. He is, however, thrilled that he has been able to stop staffers including Amarosa from bolting into the Oval Office and triggering the President with White House Palace intrigue stories. 
One of Kelly's major accomplishments since taking over as chief of staff has been to limit the scope of media stories from right-wing websites propagating conspiracy theories that has reached Trump's desk. These stories would often keep Trump occupied for large chunks of the day, including during work hours. Kelly has also told White House aides that he must approve of any request to see the president. The limited access has reported left Manning Alt unhappy. She's not happy about it, a White House source told the Daily Beast. She has a bond that goes back years with Trump and resents being cut off like everyone has. Despite the imposition of discipline, Kelly is resigned to the fact that he can't prevent Trump from using his personal cell phone to call trusted current and former aides like Manny Gold and Steve Bannon. The White House declined reporters' requests for comment.